we'll stay there. We're gonna do the news. We're gonna do news now. Um, yep. But feel free to jump in at any point at, with any you know, Bob Evans-related uh, anecdotes about the news. <laughs> feel free. <laughs> okay. Only if it has anything to do with something I've said, Bill, because they, right. they haven't gotten this far yet. Oh, okay. we're playing the news. Here comes the news. Oh, we have like a news. Yes. No, not really. We, well, we just played it. It's, oh, it's over. It. Yeah, you missed it. Sorry. Is he lying to me? All I right. Am. Hey, <laughs> Joelle. How you doing? How are you doing? Here is an up. Oh, I'm not even on. Oh, yes, yes. Hey, how you doing? Here's an update. Um, last time, like two weeks ago, when we did this, and we talked about the dance, and that was the huge issue of the time, yes. right? Yes, the and Greg dance had made of a, death. And Greg had made a comment about you know Kevin Bacon in the movie and going over the county line to have a dance. I did. Somebody Except read my article. They actually almost did. Really? Uh, the tip, yes, the high school students, they had their Halloween dance in a barn on the corner of Peters and 571. Uh, one of the parents sponsored it, but there was like over 100 kids out there. I understand that there was plenty of inappropriate dancing, and everyone had a good time. So, the place was jam packed full of inappropriate dancing. Were you there? I don't know. No, oh, okay. it was on YouTube. So. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so they Parents actually took their and dance and ma moved it somewhere else. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, and then uh, obviously we just had the elections. Do you want me? Well, let me tell you guys about this this thing first, and then we'll go to the elections. Yes. Yes. Um, this is also from a couple weeks ago, but I haven't seen you. Mm -hmm. The council has appointed 21 people to be on a citizens review committee, which, you know, remember, like, last year when there was the big What to kind do of idiots would they find to sit on that board? That's what <laughs> I want to know. Thanks. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> Whoops. And the camera flashes. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, Mike. How's it going? So, anyways, council, <laughs> since the income tax fiasco last year, council is trying to find wait, ways. Wait, wait, wait. You're a journalist. You have to be objective. Challenge. Challenges Fiasco related. Is, Fiasco is, is a judgmental. Not it is. It, it's yes. an adjective. Yes. Yeah, okay. Judgmental. De debacle? No, that's not a good word. No. <laughs> Big fight. There you go. Uh, <laughs> How about the challenges the that challenges. the city had with their with their? The challenges that the city had with. The <laughs> Can't even do it. Anyways, whatever happened. We're so with turning her into a not journalist. It's fiasco. Not funny. It's a. It was a fiasco. It's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So. The city put together this idea for the a citizens review committee, and they solicited volunteers. There are 21 people that are serving on it. They're going to go over the 10-year plan, capital sure. improvement plan, um, and the idea is that they're going to look at this and make you know, uh, council uh, or the city has this many things that they want to do and about this much money to do it in. A visual, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the committee is going to look at okay, what do we really want to do? And Mike, of course. If I'm saying this wrong, let me know. But they're going to look at what we want, what we really want to do, and how can we fund that, et cetera. And then they're going to make recommendations to council. So they have 21 people on this committee, and I'm going to read you guys the names because they're definitely a, a wide variety of people from all over. It got Tim Evans, Mark Malatini, Steve Staub, Chris Hypes, Mike Griesmeyer, Larry Reeser, Gordon Honeyman, Brenda Seagraves, Tom Deffitt, Mike McFarlane, Brent Armantrout. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gordon and Joanna Pittenger, Mark Browning, Kim Yoder, Brent Rollins, Jackie Wall, Steve Huffman, Phyllis Yale, Scott Brownlee, and of course our very own Mike McDermott. Yay! So, Mike, yeah. were you going through this? That's that's twenty who's who in Tip City. It is and a who's who. Yeah. Then when I first saw this, I was yeah. like, wow. Okay, it I is, know most like of these It's like a who's names. who in Tip City, and then Mike McDermott yes. at the bottom, and then me. That's the 21st. I'm wow. the 21st. Wow, you're the only one of those people that's on TV, I Mike. I right into that. Yeah, that you did. You snuck who? right in Almost. there. Almost. Almost got in there. So you pouring through the budget. Is it? Is yeah. that Now, is that riv as riveting as I think it might be? It is riveting. Is it? It is up riveting. Up late nights? Yeah. Yeah, I stayed up late, and, I mean, it was just like I felt like a CPA or something. Mm -hmm. I had my uh, had my glasses on, had the, had the lights on, sitting at the dining room table, had the books all out, had a calculator sitting there. You know, chucking numbers into it. It does not sound exciting to me. No, but it's important. So it is important. Point. Well, I'm and glad you're doing it, Mike. Now, I understand that they're also giving you guys a tour of some of the proposed projects and facilities. Yes, we are. Yeah, well, we're, that's we're cool. getting a tour of, uh, you know, and the thing is, is it's kind of a it's kind of a non-event for me because I've been all around Tip City numerous times well, every day. Uh, but for those people that haven't been in the downtown that are on this commission, um, they, you know, they're going to get to see some of the roads like Dow Street. Do you know Dow Street? I've never heard of it. Okay, and, and then Third Street? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I got to pick my house out there on the road that was not paved or partially paved. So, you know, all the different projects that the city has across, across the whole city is are getting looked at, and then they're trying to figure out 
uh, how to pay for it all. So, okay. so we've got some very interesting ideas. I'm not going to go share all of those here, but I just no, want to say fine. that there are some interesting comments that we've that we've heard and we've shared together as far as a as a committee and um, some really neat ways of looking how to how to take care of this without taxing the people of Tip City. So some really interesting ways to do that. Now so you th feel that there's been a purpose to this to this committee? Well, meetings. sure, yeah. Leading up, no, I mean, the city has tried to pass taxes on to the, the folks to go in and pay for some of these capital capital changes, capital infrastructure costs like roads and stuff like that, and then, you know, police and fire. And they have failed multiple times. And now we've got a situation where we, you know, we have roads that aren't even planned to be repaved in 30, 35 years, 40 years down the road. Roads only last 15, 20 years tops. Can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Is this Could a you real suggestion? Please do, Greg. Can you get a big wheel and just write the name of all the projects that you want on there and then <laughs> just spin it? <laughs> wheel <laughs> of fortune. The wheel of, yeah, wheel of misfortune. Well, and the funny thing is, is that, I mean, there are projects that will continue to go on this year and next that have grant money. They're mm -hmm. funding with uh, these projects with grant money and stimulus money. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we have like lots of money to do like crazy projects, like put up fancy looking light poles mm -hmm. and stuff. But the thing is, is all of that money comes from the federal government. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the federal government says, Tip City, would you like a half million dollars? And we say, yes, yes, please. We do and say then, please at least. Yes, at the end. we say yes, please. And then we take the money and then we, but we have to use it on decorative um, light masts poles. and light poles mm -hmm. and, and we it's have like to the buckets thing. You yeah. can't use it for paving. Well, th well, they've got a four hundred thousand dollar project right now just to fix the lights through the downtown. Have you ever noticed that yeah. when you're trying to get to the interstate, you go through every red light? You literally go to oh, a you red mean light all the timing. And the then light you go, timing? Yeah, then you go thirty five feet and you get another light. I thought they got and new you lights go another, though. Yeah. I thought they did that last year from ODOT. Yeah. Didn't they did. They, they a did a little portion of it. Okay, but then this is the rest of the downtown. And the rest of the downtown, that means you could literally <laughs> scream through 571 with green lights. That's yeah. great and all, Mike, but I'm still eating. So. Go ahead. Okay. Well, the other thing, of course, the big this week, it's uh, an election. Election. election oh, I heard day. that. Um, and we had, yeah, we did have the political candidates on um, last show, so I thought I'd mention at least those gentlemen. Yes. Bill Beagle, he is now our new state senator. Yay. Hey, he, hey he, won by, he won by a lot in Miami yes. County, but not as much in Montgomery County. Right. That's what I was going to say. Overall, he won by about 4,000 votes. But in Miami County, he got 75%. Mm -hmm. Wow. So <laughs> we were watching the returns, and he was way behind early on. And I'm like, ooh, yeah. boy. Right. That's why I ca when I called to talk to him, I'm yeah. like, Bill, are you a little nervous? And, of course, he's very, oh, no, I well, was Mike, nervous. Well, Mike, you were, Mike, you were, you were there, there with him all night. Yeah, I was the there. Air. Bill was uh, he was a uh, he was he was cool. You were in the inner sanctum, weren't you? I was. I was. Oh. He was cool. He I was didn't get so invited cool. either. So. I was sitting hey, there. I wasn't even there. I had the laptop going, and I was looking at the returns, refreshing, refreshing. I was just just riveted, right, and just so nervous and stuff for Bill. And Bill's just like over there eating potato chips and talking and stuff. I'm like, I can't believe this. This guy. Well, and you know, that's got to be that's got to be just you know something that he can do is mm -hmm. to shut that stress off, right? So he. He's, you know, he's just, you know, having a good time. He, and, you know, he's like, the, uh, you know, the campaign is over, and then this is when the votes come in. So what point so. did Obama call him and, and congratulate him about that? <laughs> well, no, speaking of the other candidate, though, i got to tell you guys this. You know, he didn't well, get a call from the other candidate. Who, did anybody call him? Well, the, yeah, this, the, the head of the s state senate. Oh, okay. Yes. That's nice. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in my work as a journalist, normally people are very specific, like, when I'm writing down, they'll give me, as you guys try to school me on how to talk about the income tax, you know, they try mm -hmm. to put things in very politically correct terms, right? And then as soon as I put the pen down or they say, okay, you know, we're off the record or it's just us talking now, then the real feelings come out and I get to hear all sorts of things. Cursing? Well, a lot of cursing. P actually, not too much cursing. That just That's from the older men. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know our and our sexist okay, well, moment has back, been I'll brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, so. thank you. Our sexist moment has been sponsored by Bob Evans. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I'm out of a job our, now. our our sexist moment brought to you by Marburger Law. If you've got a problem, <laughs> they've got a solution. Harassed? Express Are you being harassed? Out. How many embarrassing moments can I have in a show? Let's count it up. Um, but Senator Strayhorn. Uh, he, he was very 
uh, very accusatory toward Bill. Like mm. it wasn't, oh, you know, I'm sorry I missed it and congratulations to Bill. It was, uh, he accused Bill of not very not nice things and it was raving to me on the phone and I'm like, no, you, I'm from the newspaper. Like we're aware of this, right? Mm -hmm. He had no problem telling me exactly what he thought on the record. Really? On the record? So are we going to read about that? Or yep, yep. Are we? Okay. I mean, do you want... Yeah. He, abate, he accused Bill of buying the election. Mm. Okay. Mm. And that he's concerned for the people of the district, not himself. And, mm -hmm. you know, that Bill isn't aware of what he's doing. And But on, on the upside, you know, Bill obviously is said the exact opposite, that he was aware of the serious task ahead of him mm -hmm. and that it's just a brief celebration and they're mm -hmm. going to get to work. But I was just, again, I'm not used to people being that forthright right. when they know that yes. it's going to show up in it's front. Funny, and funny Bill didn't like come across and say, I really didn't like it when he put me riding a moose in his commercial and stuff and waving <laughs> he was a, riding a maple moose? leaf. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, that yeah was I, I saw that. He was riding that was, a that moose? Was rough. Yeah. 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 If somebody's going to be accusatory, I think it may be, have to go the other way, yeah. actually, with that commercial. Right. Right. Are we going to read about that in your article? Do you have an article well, coming that, out on that? That one is in the Record Herald. Right. Record Herald but that'll be Bowman Friday. talks about it in the Gazette, though. But that'll so be interesting. I'd like to mm -hmm. hear. How long was Strayhorn in? Oh, he w he was actually only senator since this past January, but yes. he was in the House for the term limit. I think mm -hmm. it's ten years. Eight years. Ten wow. Years. Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay, I apologize. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ten years in the in the House. And then Mahalia, yeah. Mahalia, are you going to talk about? Okay. Yeah. Well, Mahalia is not so great. Um, he lost by. Quillen got 26,768 votes, and Mahalio got 8,473, so a mm -hmm. little lot less, actually. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of Republicans came out in, Mo in Miami County to vote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, that's, that's what true. it Unfortunately, like. yes. We, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> yes. Fortunately or unfortunately, we had quite a bit. 50% um, of all registered voters came out in Miami County. That's fantastic in an off year. 55% wow. in Dark County which the other county that Bill picked up lots of votes from, is 55% of people came out of their houses to vote. That's fantastic. Comparison to Montgomery County, 39%. Mm -hmm. 39, wow. only 39%. That's a lot bigger percent. county, too. Yeah, yeah, much bigger, yeah, A lot more people. people All right, we got two minutes left. What else you got there, Joel? Okay, um, just besides the hamburgers. The, okay, for the election stuff, the health issue, that affects us. That did not pass, but the health department, uh, actually only about 200 votes, so it was very, very close. Mm -hmm. So the health department says they'll be coming back to the voters because they still have one more year mm -hmm. on their budget before they really start to freak out. Uh, this weekend, there are two theater options. We've got an interactive murder mystery mm -hmm. at the library. The Tip Players is doing it in conjunction with the library again. It's called The Last Will and Testament. Uh, Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Sunday at 2. Are we already getting my thing? No. Are okay. you in, are you in that this year? Um, and I am not because okay. it's so much work. I said, guys, I can't.